Cool, cool, cool. Appreciate that. Um, like I said, welcome back, everybody, to our, this week's Lunch and Learn. Um, this Today's topic is going to be going over trading view and all the simple basic tools that you need to be able to mark up your charts, um, mark up your charts with support resistance lines as well as uh, your trend lines, okay? So um, before we start recording, um, you can start placing any type of question you might have about trading view um, inside the chat, okay? I want to try to keep it basic because it's just going to be a lunch and learn. And our goal is to do a 30 minute session like this every day. So, like I said, today's topic is going to be over trading view and then also um, work on the Autobot. Okay. So, um, with that said, Jordan, if you want to start recording, you can. I'm going to repeat everything. Oh, I'm uh, already recording. All right, cool. Well, welcome again, everybody. And so now I'm going to take you straight into our, uh, where we actually mark up our charts at. Um, and we use a tool called Trading View. So, let me share my screen real quick. All right, so now as you see on my screen, it's a blank page. Well, what we want to do is go to it's called tradingview.com. And once you're on there, you'll be able to see all the different paths that we use. You'll be able to see um, indexes. You'll be able to see currencies, oils, cryptocurrencies, and also metals, okay? And so what we do is actually go to what we call the chart. That's how we're able to get a good process of what's going on. So I'm going to click on chart. That'll be the first step. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply just remove all drawings so everybody can get a good visual of everything. All right, one more. All right, perfect. So what you see now, what I have pulled up is called the a currency. And this currency is uh, right now is the NZD JPY. And pretty much this is how all your currency is going to look, okay? Um, it's going to have what we call candlesticks. And these candlesticks, you can pretty much see it looks exactly what like what it is. We have a nice, what we consider a body. And then what we also see, um, we call wicks. That's what this part is right here. We'll get more into that as far as our lunch and learns go. Um, but I want to cover like all the basic tools that you'll need. So what you'll see here is on the um on the time frame of an hour, we have our different time frames at the top left corner, okay? Um, and then like I said, you you'll better click on a different pair, you better type it in as far as like let's say um USD Euro, or let me not do that, JPY. And you just simply click on it and you'll just go to whatever currency pair that you would like to use. Um, but for today's purposes, we'll use this NZD JPY. And so what you'll see here with a blank screen, we have different time frames that you can choose. And what I like to do is simply uh, put a star by the different time frames that I like to use. So I use the time for day. That's one of my time frames. I use the four hours so you can simply just click a star. Okay. Um, and then I do the one hour because that's one of our confirmations with Gobi Trade House is to, once we break it down, we'll go to the one hour time frame. And then for my entry points, I tend to use the uh, 15 and the 30 minute the most. And then sometimes I'll possibly use the uh, five minute, but you'll learn that process too eventually, okay? But starting off with our time frames, this is how we're able to change your time frames. And what you'll notice is each one of these candlesticks we represent in this situation a four hour window, okay? Um, a four hour time frame. So, because I have it on the four hour uh, time frame here. So, each of these candlesticks will represent four hours. If I switch it over to the one hour, each of these candlesticks will represent one hour, okay? So, that's kind of how we uh, play with our time frames. All right. What you might see if you just started off or creating a profile, you might simply see it as a um, a line graph. And that's perfectly fine because uh, you'll be able to mark up what's called our support and resistance lines here using what we call our line chart. But in order to get to the different ones, um, when you first start off, you might see your screen looking like this, okay? So what you can simply place, basically do is go back to the bar styles and click on, let's say the candles. That's the one I like to use because it shows me a full body of a candlestick. Um, and like I said, I also use the line chart because that's how I use my support and resistance. 
So I'm gonna click back on the live chart real quick. All right. So another thing that I like to use a lot is our indicators, okay? Simply go here to the FX tab. From here, you just simply click on the down arrow and you can see the different favors that I actually use. But if you wanna search for some, you can simply click by going to the uh, index, indicators and strategies and type in the, uh, let's just use for example, um, moving averages. And you'll be able to click on a certain moving average and add it to your um, list of favorites, okay? Simply by pressing the star button or unstarring it to make it unfavored for you, okay? So that's at the top. Along with that, um, that's the basic ones that I use so far. Uh, moving forward, create an alert. You might see if you've been on the live session before how we create an alert. Um, and I'm gonna kind of walk you through as we do a few more examples. Um, but simply all you have to do is click on here and say, for example, you want uh, an alert when price hit a certain number or a certain price. So you'll just simply come here and you'll be able to go here and type in uh, 73.456. And then from there, if you want that crossing up or crossing down, you can uh, change it by simply going and use the different uh, greater than crossing up, crossing down tool. So I'm not gonna place an alert, but you do have this option, okay? And let me rewind a little bit. TradingView is a free website. Um, if you want to get more indicators or more alerts, they do have a subscription base for it, okay? So we're working our way all around to the top. Um, moving to the right a little bit further, top right of the screen. Say you want to uh, share your screen with someone or your, your markups, you can go here, click on capture picture, and it's going to give you a screenshot. <clears throat> From there, you simply copy it and you'll be able to share it with myself to anybody in the chat if you want to have uh, someone look at your chart that you're actually reviewing, okay? So moving along, other things that I use that you can be a beneficial to you is called the watch list. And basically all you have to do is click on a different <clears throat> pair that you want to add and type it in. <clears throat> Excuse me. So say for example, you want to add the Euro GPB or the euro pound to your watch list, all you have to do is click on the plus sign and it's going to be added there for you. That way now you can switch between different currency pairs um, and allow you to have a faster um, you know, transaction between charts, okay? Um, you'll also be able to see with this clocks alert, you'll be able to see the different things that you have set up as far as reminders, okay? You'll, you, you know, you can click on X to remove it. You can click on... Um, on settings to edit, okay? So you can use that as well as far as your uh, your alerts go. <clears throat> Moving forward, they have different things as well. I'll go over those features with you. Um, the calendar, Since, like we use the, uh, the Forest Factory, you can also use this just to get an idea of what's going on with the different currencies. It's gonna basically give you, you know, everything. It's not gonna just give you talks about currencies, but stocks as well. So you'll see the different uh, time frames and the different countries that they have that for. Ideas, you can simply, you know, if you had an idea for the chart, you can take notes for it and, and put it in this little area here. So that's what this is for. Here for public chat, say for example, you're following someone, you'll be able to, you know, go in and, and see what they're talking about. And it's always a community inside the our Gobi Trade House community. It's a you know it's a worldwide thing. Anyone who uses uh, Trading View, this is where you know some people mark up their charts and share with others. Mm. And so that's on it. That's the things that I use on this right end. Okay. Now, as far as your support and resistance lines go, um, you see on the left hand column here, we have different tabs um, to the left. And so one of the first things that you do, like I said is for your support resistance lines. I use the horizontal line, okay? You already see I have a start here. So all you have to do is click on it. And what that allow you to do is just place the line in the chart like so. Now you see it's a dotted green line. What you can do in, if you wanna be able to you know, adjust that, you can go here, you can change it to yellow. If you wanna make it solid, you simply go here and uh, Go to solid. Let me fix that. I'm 
So this is exactly how we do our um, our horizontal lines, okay? Um, with that, you can also click on it again and you can see trend lines. And from the trend lines, you can simply click here and it, I'm not gonna talk about how we mark up the charts right now, but you're better use that and you're better to get a diagonal signal all the way across. So as you see here, we have a nice solid line, um, but that's using for our trend lines, okay? So that's that. Uh, let me do this as well. You see this little arrow, back arrow? So if, say, for example, you made a mistake, you better go back and do a back tap and then it'll erase everything from, you know, from the moment that you uh, started, okay? So you can just click on that as well. Uh, another thing that I like to use, use is uh, the different tabs here. So if you see a lot of times we might talk about, you know, the direction of the, the charts and how they might be. So let me go back to a candlestick real quick. So simply click click on path and it allow you to go here, say prices break and continue to go back up. You just double tap on it and it's gonna give you the, uh, the, the path that you wanna use. And that's using the uh, path and just press the start button to save it as one of your favorites. The other one I've been getting to more into lately is to mark out my zones. I use it, it's called a rectangle. And so say, for example, we have it here. You go to the bottom of your screen or the top of your support, however you want to do it. And you'll better see you can create a nice little zone for yourself um, when you get to more zones. Go from there, okay? So that's two options as far as like your, your horizontal lines as well as your, um, your rectangles for us like set, setting your support and resistance go. Along with that, what I like to use a lot of just to identify like a certain entry point for myself is this eclipse. It's going to give us a nice little um, circle. Okay, you can kind of change the colors of it as you want to. You can play with it like you want to. But uh, all you have to do is click a line, and from there, you'll be able to open it up and save it as, you know, make it a little circle for yourself. All right, so let me backspace out of that. Also, you might see when we write signals up, we kind of pretty much uh, go to the chart, we go to text. And from there, we're able to say buy Euro GPP or anything like that. Um, that allows you to be able to place, you know, reminders for yourself if you want to write notes for a pair. You're actually able to use this for texting purposes and save it to your charts, okay? So that's another thing I like to use this for as uh, trading view go. There's more tabs in here for different uh, patterns that we people use. I personally don't use them, but you'll be able to find them here, okay? All right, let me see here. All right, you'll see us using the short and long position a lot of times. And if you were on the call last week, long stood for buy positions, shorts were for sales positions. So let's say we're going in for a sale. I'll click the short position, and let's say we put it right here, okay? What you can do from there is now drag it all the way down to let's say this bottom level right here. And so now you're able to see how many pips you would have collected if you started from the uh, the top of this, this downtrend, okay? And you better get a price, so, or not a price, but an actual number of pips. And in this situation, it'll be 159 pips, 160 pips to the bottom of this uh, downtrend. What you can see at the top is your actual uh, stop loss you can adjust it how you want and from there you can see how many pips your goal is or you know from the stop loss and so i have a let's just make it a 50 a 50 pip stop loss okay so now you're able to judge and see how many pips you would uh be risking and then also how many pips you would be collecting once you hit take profit okay uh, i'm gonna do a reverse and so let's use the loan this time so using the lawn, uh, let me find the area. So in this situation here, let's just say we caught at the bottom of this trend. You're able to place your stop loss as many pips, like I said, as you want, but now we're being able to calculate our, our pips on the buy. So in this situation here, now we have 63 pips collected. Once it hit our TP, and we'll be risking, let's say, 20 pips, which would be a good ratio. 
um, as far as that go. But that's another tool that I like to use. Another tool that I like to use just for training purposes is called the ghost feed. You might see Ken use it a lot, but basically all you're doing is creating like a little a practice graph or practice line. And that's simply called the ghost feed. We don't really use that for any type of marking up charts or anything, but you can use it for like practice purposes only. So then here you see the, all the different symbols. Um, I use the X a few times just to mark up maybe like, let's say uh, a level of resistance. You can also, you know, of course, go back to the tabs and change the color if need be, okay? So um, that's what I use for that. Now, if you see the next to that, we have a ruler. That ruler, I use it simply just to calculate maybe, let's say, an example of a, um, a nice candlestick. So all I have to do is start off at the bottom of this candlestick with the ruler and work my way all the way up. And we see now that that's 24, 25 pips, okay? So this will give you a quick version of how to, you know, mark up your charts um, and mark up your uh, pips goals on this situation by using this ruler. All right, let me backspace out of here. And also, as you see, as I'm deleting things, if you want to delete something off of your chart, you can simply just right click on it, go to the trash tab, and then remove it. If you need to zoom in, you can simply by just press this button and it's going to allow you to, you know, zoom in on a tighter uh, level as far as that goes. Now, locking in positions or locking in different uh, things on your charts, uh, you see I have a lock button here. And that's once I have an indicator uh, tool that I'm working with on. So, for example, I go back to the horizontal line and then I lock it. I'm able to put as many as I like here um, and go from there. Let me make sure it's locked. So you're able to place as many as you like. Um, using the horizontal lines, okay? So you just simply lock on it and then you'll be able to place them wherever you like as far as the horizontal lines go. So uh, let me see what else I use. And then also, let's say for example, you already had your favorites marked up in the chats, I mean, not in the chats, but inside of a uh, toolbar, just simply, all you have to do is click on this and then now you have a tab that's gonna have everything that you use uh, for marking up your charts on one tab for you. So I have my Pathfinder where I'm able to simply go here. I have my trend line where I can place a nice trend from here. I have my, uh, this is my- Hey, hey my fault, go, 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 go back, go back to how you got that on there. My fault. Okay, man. okay, okay. Let me just, back- Just that screen right there. Yeah, that screen right, so you use all, all right, this the tabs on it. All right, so you see the start, the left bottom hand corner, I click on that. And from there, like I said, I'm, I'm able to have all the things that I have favored um, in this little area, okay? So just click on the star button and then now I have it favored. If I unstart, it goes away. Start is back up. I have my horizontal sure. line. Um, I have my text bar where I can click on a thing and then type in, um, you know, sell and then save it. Um, let me see what else I use. Say, for example, you're just using an arrow to point out a certain um, candlestick. Let me click on it. And it's not going to work this time. So, um, yeah, it's not working for me now. But that's how we use our, our, um, our, all our, that's the things that I use personally for marking up the charts, okay? Um, it's going to be a way for you to, like I said, learn the basics by simply playing with it, okay? Um, and you can simply go to remove drawings and then everything is back to normal if you want to start from there. If you made that mistake, like I said, and removed everything, you can press the unscroll button and then it'll be back for you. So you can click on one thing if you want to delete and get it off your, off your charts. You can or you can just go to remove drawings and remove all drawings, okay? Um, so let me look at the chats real quick to see if I have any questions on trading view. I have a question to ask. Okay, go ahead. Um, 
You know, I'm just uh, I'm I'm just uh, new to this. Um, uh, can I practice this with uh, a demo account or is it live accounts? So, all right, trading view is going to be simply free. Um, you can use this on um, any any. You don't have to you don't have to pay for this. Okay. Okay. Um, you will be able to use this to evaluate your charts and things of that nature. So it'll be good for practices because what you'll see is uh, you'll be able to place like what we call our support and resistance lines. Let me go back here and simply get practice, okay? Uh, and simply just get practice marking up your charts. And you'll learn, we'll do some more sessions uh, this week on what, what's the importance of our support and resistance lines the importance of our, our trend lines and things of that nature, okay? okay. So, um, but as far as your demo account, this trading view, it doesn't have anything to do with it. You can actually, for if you want to use your demo account, you can, if you're new, you, you know, you can practice your support resistance lines. And if you feel like you know how to make a, a entry point, uh, you can take it on your demo account. So, okay. How about the, how about using the robot, you know, because um, I, I, I still need the robot to change. The, the bot? Yeah, the robot. Okay. I'm, I'm actually going to the bot next. I'm going um, to mention that next. Do okay. we have any more uh, questions on TradingView? Let me see if I have anything in the chat. Uh, yeah, Joe, I got a question, bro. Okay, go ahead. Um, I, I'm really having trouble understanding the 50, the 200, and the 20 moving averages, bro. I can't, I can't grasp that concept for my life, bro. If you could show me that, man, that would be helpful, bro. Okay. I'll do a brief, uh, since you asked, I'll do a brief. Basically, the, the moving averages are going to be, like, say, for example, with the, uh, hold on. The moving average is going to be the, the basically what the candlesticks are. Okay, so we have a two hundred. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, bro. I didn't know you wasn't doing that. My bad. Uh, uh, yeah. I just hit you off the line. Yeah, we actually have a full training on on just the uh, moving averages as well. All right, cool. Yeah, cool. We'll, we'll get to it. Yeah. I think we, somebody asked that last night too, so we can possibly have that on the, on the agenda. I have no, uh, no, thanks. No problem. So, hey, Joe. Hey. So, on one of the sessions, uh, a newer person had asked when you when you're selecting your pairs, and you know how there's multiple options for the type of chart to pull up, like you have Oanda or FXM or FXM. They were asking, right. does it make a difference which one you select, and you know. So let's let's do a quick example, okay? I'm gonna show you. Uh, let me go here real quick. So we got a Wanda at the top of the screen, okay? And that's another little tip um, I learned. But let me remove drawings at the bottom. So I'm gonna show you, let's do a, a top and down analysis and see if it makes any difference. Honestly, I don't think it does, but um, let me click on it. So there was FX. On the hour time frame. So as you see, it it's the same exact choice. And I mean, everything's gonna be live. I think it just depends on who you wanna, you know, use. Um, and so that's another feature, everyone. You can simply go here uh, to select layout and have different many, many different layouts. Okay. Um, you can go, you know, side by side if you want to look at that, look at it from that view. Um, if you want to look at it by the uh, top or down, you can go that way Thank as well. Um, but what you can also do, let's say, for example, you want to see the time frame on a 30 minute with the Euro GPP compared to the uh, the hour time frame. Simply go here and it's on the hour now. So you can kind of see it's in the same little uh, downtrend toward this area. Um, and then on the hour time frame, it's not that many candlesticks because it's only been about, about eight candlesticks. But you can see it's the same exact thing as far as the uh, as far as that goes. I think I had it right. Good. Any one more question on trading view? We have it. Hi, Joe. I was distracted when you were saying how each um, candle is how many hours, how many candlesticks, how many hours. 
Okay, I'll go back to the basic. So depending on the time frame that you're working with, okay, um, let me go to the day time frame first so you can kind of see. So now with this time frame being on the day time frame, each one of these candles represents one full day. Oh, okay. 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 So let's say, for example, now I'm on the hour time frame. Okay. Each one of these candles represents a full hour. And okay, so, thank you. No problem. No problem. So with that being said, what I want to do now, um, I guess I hopefully that covered the basics as, as far as being able to have the right tools to mark up your support resistance lines, uh, your trend lines, and then also the different alerts that you can set. Um, and also, like I said, the other tools that I use for, you know, measuring my, my pips and my candlesticks, okay? Um, I think this is going to be very beneficial for you to at least use these tools. And tomorrow's session, we'll be going over support and resistance again. So um, if you want at home, you can practice that, okay? So next, I want to kind of like go a little bit over the bot and then how to maneuver around the bot, the auto bot that we have. So I'm going to stop sharing screen and share another screen. All right, share screen. All right, so everybody see my Metal tr uh, Trader 4 screen now? You can just type it in the chat for me. Not yet. Okay, it might be loading. There it, there I it is. I can see it. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. We have uh, five pairs up, okay? Um, but, you know, to add, I'm gonna start with adding more pairs. Um, all you have to do is use as many different ways to get to it, but one way is to click on the uh, symbol column, and then let me go back. You right click on the symbol column if you're using a mouse, okay? You can go to symbols, and from here you'll see all the different pairs that marks up that we have uh, available for you. Um, the team been testing all the FX majors, <clears throat> and so you can pretty much see all the majors that I've used um in the charts and stuff for euro usd of course um and then i have the fx majors if you want to you know pick all of those you can have those if you want to add them to your screen <clears throat> simply click on the the dallas on double tap on it and it's going to be made available for you in the left column here as you see with my um my fx crosses okay so if you want to remove it simply go here and then hide it and then it's now removed from your your screen Let's say, for example, when you're doing a gold rush, okay, you look for the metal column and you see you already have gold marked up, okay? So from here, if you just want to take it off your screen, you double tap, you want it on your screen, you can tap and make it back, come back up here for you. And so now it'll be here inside your um, symbols column for your watch list. Um, with that being said, let me start off. I'm not going to erase none of my... Um, my stuff. So let's say, for example, I want to pull up uh, RDJPY, okay? What I have to do is simply right click on it, click on the chart window, and now it's going to appear for me in the main screen. So right now, you see I have RDJPY with the H1. <clears throat> Depending on the time frame that you want to use, all you have to do is click on the M30 or the H4, it represents the four hours, just like we're talking about the candlesticks. Each of these candles is going to be not represent four hours on the four hour uh, window. One hour for the H1, M30 is going to be 30 minute candle or time frame. And the same with the 15. Now, let's say we want to work with the 15 minute time frame. We have our chart pulled up for RDJPY. All you have to do now is go to the expert folder here and slide your bot over, okay? Now, what's going to happen is this is what you're going to see first. You're going to see a 50 pips stop loss, a uh, take profit of 50 pips, and the last size is starting off at 0 0.01. Okay. That's the only, in this inputs tab, that's the only um, things that I, I would adjust. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't adjust the movement averages. I wouldn't adjust anything pro below that. So let's say you want to adjust your stop loss to 25. Let's say you want to adjust your uh, take profit to five. 
I'm and sorry, but I don't think you're. Uh, I'm. I know I'm. I don't know what I'm saying, but I don't think something's moving. It's like the five Maybe. charts are still on the screen. Actually, okay. now looking at it, it might be uh, frozen, Joe. Okay. okay, let me uh, let me stop and do it again. Uh, you still see my Metatrader four screen, correct? Right, but it sounds. But it looks like so. I'm looking at the market watch, for example, right? And it mm. hasn't. The time itself hasn't like moved. Like the seconds haven't ticked. So I just. I believe that the screen for everybody here is just uh, frozen. Okay, let me see. Let me try another pair, possibly. So I'm gonna add another chart. You see my new chart now? GPP, uh, JPP? No, we're not seeing it. Okay, let me stop screen share and do it again. I think it might be loading. Let me know once you see it. I so, see a chart. Oh, hold on. We might be, uh, we might still be getting the program back up or the screen back up, I should say. Okay, there we go. All right, perfect. Now you see my, my MetaTrader 4 screen again. Were you able to see the symbols? Yeah, so now I believe we're seeing uh, GBP, JPY now. Okay, and I'm going to start all over. So from here, um, so now I have GPP, JPY. Up and I'll have it on a one hour on one hour time frame. Uh, you can switch your time frames by simply going to the H4, which is the four hour time frame. The D1 is one day, 30 minute time frame, and then also uh, the 15, whichever one you prefer. To, you know, to set your bot on. Okay, I'm gonna put it on this for training purposes. I'm gonna put it on the 30 minute time frame, and from here I just uh, drag my I take my drag my bot from the experts advisor folder onto the screen, okay? Now, do everyone see my tab with the experts tab? Yes, sir. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, this is how it's gonna look whenever you drag that um, bot over, okay? It's gonna open up, it's gonna give you the options to set your parameters, okay? This is what we mean by parameters, which means your take profit or your stop loss, and just say we wanna put it at 25. Now it's set. Let's say, for example, you wanna take Put your take profit at um at five or your stop loss is at 25, your take profit is at five. And then your last size. Let's say, for example, you want to do um 0 0.10. That's that's a uh a, a dollar per pip, okay? And then press okay. Now you have that set. Now let's say for example, you want to save this exact parameters. Simply all you have to do is go go to save button. And then you can save it as, you know, um, whatever you want to save it. I'm not going to save it for, in this situation, but um, that's all you have to do. So that way, next time you come back to this pair, you can have it already popped up for yourself. All right. So that's the inputs tab. The common tab. If you've been hearing a lot of people talk about um, long and shorts, where you have the ability to trade only on shorts or only on longs, okay? and not both at the same time. And all you have to do is go to click on the common tab and click on long. If you want to try to go for buys in an uptrend, if you want to go in a downtrend, you can click on shorts only, okay? Um, and so basically that's another tool that you'll be able to use as far as, uh, you know, changing your, your settings for your bot, okay? And then all you have to do is click on okay and then now you see that we have a copyright Gobi Trade House 2021 at the top left. And you have a smiling face on the top right, knowing that you uh this bot is not active and it's gonna be working for you. Okay. If you want to stop the trading on the weekends, or of course you would, and because we don't do any currencies on it, um, you can click on auto trading and that's gonna stop your bot. I mean, you can stop your bot Friday morning, uh Friday afternoon. So you won't get into any trades overnight, okay? So that's an uh, option for yourself. Um, but like I said, now that you see that we have it rolling, um, the bot is gonna be working for you, okay? Let me see if I have any questions on this. Joe, how often do you uh, recommend going and checking the bot? 
Um, it depends on what your if your freedom time. I mean, if you, if you have free time or not, I I I check it maybe a couple of times a day. If I add pairs to it, I will check it. Um, if I'm in front of my computer, if not, um, I just let it do its thing. I kind of like to be surprised. More than likely, it's been doing well for me as far as like that goes. All right, thank you. No problem. What's the uh, recommended pairs that you uh, put on your black? Let me know. So the recommended pairs, um, I'm still testing everything out. So, but the ones I've been using mostly, let me go back. Let me, let me do this real quick. Windows. All right. So the pairs that I've been using mostly um, are from the uh, FX crosses and majors. Okay. <clears throat> I haven't went to any of the exotic pairs. Um, I'm testing them out, I'm taking notes on them, okay? And then that allowed me to see which pairs worked best for me. Um, and if, you, if you're if you a numbers person, I come down to the bottom of the screen. I mean, I raise the screen up for you to see something. Um, let me move this out the way as well. So what you see at the bottom corner is the trades that I have open. Uh, you can see the exposure tab is going to give you the um, breakdown of what pair is working well for you and things of that nature, okay? Um, so what you'll see here, <clears throat> what, you're, what you'll see is, hold on. So, so what you'll see here is um, you see the USD tab has been pretty much doing well for me as far as the USD pairs. Uh, the NZD pairs, you can see it's been doing well for me. And then you can see the JPY pairs so far has been, um, it's not that well for me. But so I'm just using the different pairs right now just to get a good test and see how that goes, okay? Um, and then like I said, to continue to maneuver around, you can see the account history with all the different, um, you know, pairs that you've had take profit already, okay? Um, and then, you know, red mean to hit your stop loss and green mean to hit your take profit, okay? Um, I closed out a few trades, you know, Friday afternoon because I was still in them just so I can avoid the uh, possibility of, you know, going over the weekend and having a gap. That's that tab. Um, that's the only ones I pretty much use on the buy. As far as that goes, you can click on the, expert you can kind of see the different things honestly i don't use all of that um but you can see the different tabs at the bottom of the screen okay so that's that all right let me see here any question all right i'll open up to uh three questions on the um the body if you have any questions on it yeah joe i got one okay what you got are you taking um buys and sells or you have it set to, to both is that working for you or are you just doing you know the long or the short so what i've been doing is I've, I've been testing this as well um say for example uh, i put on my rsi indicator okay um that's the indicator i use to see if i've been if the market has been oversold or overbought if the market has been overbought that means i'm looking for a sell opportunities um, and this uh, RSI indicator gives me that that uh, you know that confirmation. Okay, right now it's currently around in between the seventy and thirty. So I kind of like wait till it either get to the thirty and then I look for buy opportunities. Or if you don't want to use the indicator, you can kind of like give yourself a good visual using just like we do in our um, regular charts and trading view. We see the overall trend. Um, we see we're on a slight downtrend as far as this uh, one hour ago. So it's a possibility that you can be looking for um, shorts. But on a one hour time frame, you see that it's in a nice bullish structure. So you can possibly be looking for um, for buys or, or loans in this situation. Um, especially being that you see how it correlates to the bottom with the RSI. On a four hour time frame, we're bullish. So we're in an uptrend. So the prices are being uh, overbought right now, or oversold. I'm just gonna over overbought. 
Um, so what you see down at the bottom is I'm going to be looking for situations to possibly go in for a continuation of the um, buy. This is on the four hour time frame. But if you go to the 15 minute time frame, um, it's in the middle with my RSI is probably around 50 or so. And 30 is in the middle as well. So depending on what time frame you trade on, um, you just want to make sure you, uh, you know, you set it to that those parameters for yourself. So you can simply just go in and view the charts as far as like the trends and see what the trend is um, and go from there, okay? Okay. Oh, and also I meant to ask you as far as the um, gold thing is concerned, like nobody was on the thing this morning on, on Zoom. So was that normal or are we supposed um, to look for someone or, or what? Honestly, that question, um, we'll try to get it taken care of offline. As far as uh you know the schedule and all of the of the uh, goal rush, okay, so we'll try to get to the to you know that answer for you offline. Okay, but um, aside from that, as mm -hmm. far as I think I asked you the other day about the 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 the, um, the setting the thing for like point zero one is that the same for gold? The same for the other indices? Yeah, yeah. So honestly, it's the same. It's on the only difference is you'll get a whole lot more pips in the. Uh, it'll be just more volatile. Okay, so your your pips are and uh, you know your last size is gonna be the same. You're just able to capitalize and get more pips on the gold because it moves pretty fast. Because I was told that I was if I set it at point zero one, I'd be setting a lot of signs of a dollar in gold. Yeah, I still haven't found that out. Um, as far as like, um anything different but like i said you do want to have proper risk management whenever you do trade anything other than currencies well you want to trade uh everything with proper risk management but for sure with those uh metals and cryptos for sure okay all right one more question let's see what we got So are you recording this? Yes, it's being recorded right now. So you better go back and, um, you know, look at everything as far as that goes. Um, moving forward, yes, all the lunch and learners will be recorded to where everyone, you know, we better have, you know, answering the question periods to where, because somebody is probably thinking that same question but not um, mentioning it. So um, that's what this purpose is for, is to better to answer any type of questions live, um, hopefully, I better have the answer for you. Now we'll get the answer for you. Um, and we have a smart community as well. So anybody that's in the chats, um, nine times out of ten, you'll get your answer, uh, your question answered. So yes, it's being recorded, and it should be in the back office at some point within the next twenty-four to forty-eight hours. Okay. Thank you. No problem. So uh, with that being said, I do want to keep these calls very short, but hopefully informative. Um, I want to appreciate everybody for being on this call um, and look forward to everyone being on the call tomorrow after the coffee with Gobi. Um, so hopefully everything got answered. If not, you can hit me on the offline and I'll be able to, uh, you know, help a little bit more. Other than that, I hope everyone has a great afternoon and go be great. And I'll see y'all later tonight. Hey, before y'all go, I, for one, appreciate Joe and taking the time out of his day to teach us how we're supposed to use TradingView.com and how to use the Autobot. So please drop a 777 if you feel the exact same way and you appreciate the time Joe has taken out of his day to come help teach us. 777, please. We appreciate you. Uh, now I got to get back to these kids. If you notice, I heard them. <laughs> so... Um, again, like I said, I appreciate y'all for being on. Joe. <laughs> What's up? I said, they got you on lockdown, baby. Them little girls, they wrap themselves all around your heart. They just be telling you what to do. You say, yes, ma'am. <laughs> they, they do. They do. So, um, again, I appreciate y'all. And I'll see y'all on the call this afternoon at the, uh, the Asian session, okay? Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. No Thank you. See y'all. Y'all enjoy y'all day, everyone. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.